275, 275. Do we have a bid for 275? Anybody bidding for 275? Thank you very much, Wong San. Now, do we have 300? 300. Anybody bidding for 300? Thank you very much, Sando. Yeah, thank you. How about anybody bidding for 325? 320. Mr. Zhao, thank you, thank you. Now, gentlemen, we have a virgin here. This is a rare opportunity to get a pure virgin. Pure. She is worth at least $400. So, do we have a bit of $350? $350. Any? I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. 350 from the madame at the back. 350 is the current bid. Do we have 375? 375 from Say Yeah! 375! This is what I'm talking about. Gentlemen and lady, can we bring it up to 400? 400! This is the bid that we have currently. 400. Do we have 425? We do! 425! 425, everybody! <laughs> Anybody else going to bid? Five. Any more bids? We've got 425 going once, 425 going twice. 500. 500. 500. The bid is 500 from the lady at the back. 500. Uh, uh, any other bidders? Sold to the lady in red for 500 dollars. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. This brings our auction to an end. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gentlemen, let me see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Uh, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Next time. Next time. Uh. <laughs>
Where you been? You mean our clients? You did make me partner last week. Why are you trying to weasel your way out of that one already? <laughs> weasel out? You sound happy to hear from me. Sorry, I've been going through junk all day and my skin is really starting to itch from all this dust. <sighs> Great grandma was clearly a hoarder. Did you say there's some kind of hotel guy interested in it? Sell it quick and come back to me. I miss you. <sighs> it's not that easy, you know? I've got to get it cleaned up before it can get a good price. I took a month off for a reason, you know. Come on, you're good at closing deals fast. I should know. I hired you. Look, why don't you, um... Dump all this stuff. Get somebody to deal with it, yeah? Don't be stupid. What if there's something valuable? Like, I know the difference. Might have to get an expert to take a look, but... That'll just take more time. What's the place worth anyways? Three mil? Try 17. 17 mil? Yeah, shop houses are prime real estate, especially this close to the CBD. Except it's in a terrible state. Apparently one of her friends was supposed to be managing it after she passed away, but it doesn't look like they lifted a finger to clean it up. I have to move it before the market slows down for Chinese New Year. I don't want to be stuck here another month. All right, we'll get it done, babe. The firm needs you. I need you. It's the real estate agent. I'll call you later. Okay, I love you. Mm, you too. Oh, hey. I thought I saw the lights on in here. Man, this is the first time I've seen anyone in this place. You're the real estate agent? You're late. Uh, no. I'm with the Chinatown Historical Society. We're hoping you'll join our petition to save heritage buildings just like this one. Sorry, I'm expecting someone. Who is late, right? Is that an antique candle stand? Excuse me. I've seen one exactly like this at a heritage tour in Notre Dame. Really? Do you think it's valuable? Yeah, museums, private collectors, they're always looking out for original antiques, which is why most greedy owners sell them. The things people do for profit. Well, would you like a tour of the house? Would I like a tour of the house? <laughs> oh, well, I could use an expert opinion on what else is val well preserved. Is that the kitchen? Hey!
I've never seen a shop that was so well preserved. <laughs> You're selling? Well, yes. The buyers want to make it into a boutique hotel, so I'm sure they'd be keen to preserve any interesting historical artifacts. What about what they don't find interesting? They'll gut this place and sell whatever doesn't suit them. They don't care about the history of a place like this. Oh, please. This whole street is filled with buildings like this. Not like this. I've never seen a shop house so well preserved. Look, we're losing our heritage one building at a time, and soon Singapore's gonna be nothing but a sterile concrete jungle. Is that what you want? I think you should look. Yeah! Ah! Oh, God! Oh, my leg. Oh. Oh. Oh, stop! Oh, it looks like a sprain. Better take you to see the doctor. I'm, I'm so sorry, it's all my fault. Just what I need. Doesn't... Uh, what the hell is this wooden stick is that? Wow! It's a dildo. Oh, God, stop. I touched it. What the hell is it doing here? I've never seen one so old. It's... It's beautiful. Okay, I really think you should go now. And these? I've only ever read about them. Women will put them inside their body to improve their muscular... ...control. You know, down there. Oh, stop it! This is my great-grandma's house. And I don't need to be imagining her... ...down there. Your great-grandmother used to live here? So you know all about this place's history? What history? This place, it's famous among Chinatown historians. Well, infamous, really. What are you talking about? This shop house was a brothel. Not just any brothel. It was the most opulent and desirable houses of pleasure in 1930 Singapore. Anyone for you? Friend or family? Doctor said your foot needs full rest. No, no family. I flew here from Hong Kong just for the sale of the house. Thomas Hardy. It was my mom's. My great grandma gave it to her. And after she passed, I kept it with me. Yi Sin. Was that your mom's name? It's a very special name. Do you know what it means? Yeah. Yi means freedom, escape from the world. Sin means strong fragrance. From the Chinese idiom, Ru Lan Zhi Sin, as strong as the fragrance of an orchid. Wow, I didn't know you were a historian and a linguist. Didn't you say your great grandmother's name was Feng Lan? Yeah. She must have wanted your mom to be strong and free. Sounds like she was an amazing woman. Well, I wouldn't know, would I? I mean, why was she living in a brothel? 
Times were really different back then. You can't judge people from the way we see them now. Anyway, thanks for helping me out. You can go now. Nope. I'm staying. What? Yeah. <sighs> if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have hurt your foot. So let me make it up to you by helping you out with whatever it is you're doing here. Uh, you do know I'm trying to sell this place, right? The place that you're trying to save? Yes. And whoever buys it is probably going to tear it apart. And I don't care. You really OK with that? OK. I'll admit, I'm not being completely selfless here. But since I can't change your mind, I'd like to glean as much of the history of this place as I can before it's gone forever. And you're probably trying to clean this place up to sell before Chinese New Year, right? Yeah. So let's help each other out. I'll clean and catalog, and you can supervise and sell. Deal? Mm? Is this really necessary? When have I ever delivered anything less than what I promised? You know what my mistress expects. Please, I would like to check for myself. See that? Get up. Get up. any harder, her nipples are going to pop out. <laughs> Just checking that she hasn't fed a child before, as you very well know. Lie down, bend your knees, feet apart. See what I say? If I say the girl is a virgin, you can wager your life that she's gonna be one. <laughs> Are you paying to watch? If not, leave. She belongs to Fong Wong Kok now. Get dressed. There's a client waiting for you. <sighs> this is so exciting. I've always wanted to know what's inside the famous brothel in Chinatown. Look, if this deal's gonna work, you're gonna have to stop calling it that. Why are you so touchy about it? I give my front teeth for a piece of history like this in my family. 17 million and it's all yours. Not everything has a value in dollars and cents. Everything can be bought. Okay, and if it can't, you just have the wrong price. Think about all the people that have walked these floors. Don't you want to know who they were? What they were like? Especially your great-grandmother and how she's connected to this whole place. The answers are all in these boxes. Each box is like an ancient mystery, just waiting to be solved. <laughs> yeah, it's a real mystery why anyone would want to keep those. Okay, maybe not this box per se, but I'm sure if we keep looking Look, a bit... I'm really glad you're enjoying rifling through all this garbage. But if you really want to help me, then just keep whatever stories you find to yourself. Okay, I don't want to scare away any buyers with any sordid details. I just want to sell and get back with my life. Fine. Are 
I gotta make a call. But you know what? Everything might have a price. But not everything should be sold. Don't ruin your makeup. Let her cry. A frightened virgin is more realistic. Mr. Kim paid a premium for you. Make him happy, or I'll carve those tears into your face. He paid less than what we did. Has the war in China affected business? Of course, of course it has, but we all have to find a way, don't we? Oh, Mr. Kim! Let me introduce you to our new girl. Madame Fong Lan, is this...? Her name is Mui Guai. Mui Guai? How... How lovely. And is she...? She's as you requested, untouched. Here's our special drink to make your evening more fruitful. I'll leave you to some privacy. Thank you, Madame. After every client, wash below with this to prevent disease. Always keep yourself clean. If you make our clients sick, 
you will regret it. Madam Fong Lam has a reputation to keep. You're fortunate to get Mr. Kim. He's a nervous cripple and very gentle. Not all girls are so fortunate their first time. You expect me to be grateful? Fuyan. They stole me from my home. They put me on a ship and beat me when I tried to escape. And I thought I was lucky not to be raped. But now, I know they wanted to sell me to you. What kind of a person are you, you heartless bitch? Don't play victim here. You weren't stolen. Your country pumpkin parents sold you to pay their debts. To them, you were just a worthless girl. So don't pretend you're better off with them. I'll be better off anywhere but here. <laughs> You poor thing. You know where the door is. You think you're going to have a better life out there? <laughs> to be born a woman is to be born a slave to your husband, your mother-in-law, your children, and your pimp. At least in here, you can have some kind of power. That is, if you know how to use it. If you can't face it, then you should have jumped out into the sea when you had the chance to. Get her ready in half an hour, or I might just throw her into the sea myself. It's incredible. It's better than we imagined. There's boxes and boxes of artifacts just lying around completely untouched. I don't think anyone's been in here since the 1960s. Look. We got a real shot at registering for historical importance. Then she can't sell the place until the museum does a full evaluation. Just start the application process. I'll get as much uh. evidence as I can while I'll try and saw her. Found anything interesting? Uh, nope, not yet. Maybe I should just dump it all. I don't want to waste time if it's just going to be more junk. No, don't. Look at these. Do you recognize anyone? I don't know how she looked like. I never met her. She left the house to a friend. And after the friend died, the executors found me. Her name was Feng Lan, right? What are you doing? This was a ledger. Used to record the uh, activities that went on in here. This column, it's all women. Rose, Jasmine, Yilang Yilang. All working names. All precious scents. And here, it's all men. Mr. Tan, Mr. Tong, um, and Mr. Ng. No first names to protect their identities. Prostitutes and their johns. It's a business record. And you're looking for my great-grandmother? What's wrong with you? This is a brothel. And she didn't live here. There's no way. Her name's not even in here. She must have bought it afterwards. And just left everything lying around here. Come on, so what if I can't find her name here? She was probably using a working name too. This is ridiculous. Wait. I know it's a lot to take in, but don't you want to know about your great-grandmother? It's your past. Exactly. Mine, not yours. So I can do whatever I want with it. Forget it, bury it. Sell it. 
I don't have to justify myself to you. In fact, I want you gone. So don't even bother coming back here tomorrow. Ow. Free? Help me, huh? Fill this. Uh. Where's the new one? Still crying in her room? Don't pretend you didn't cry too. The first time is hard. <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Kim was hard too. <laughs> Fuyan must be crying. How much did she pay for the skinny tauge? $500 more than Lose. Again? 400 is the price of a virgin. She knows that. <sighs> Why make Lose angry? This is the second girl she stole from him. You know Fu Yan, right? She doesn't like what he does to his girls. Remember the two he bought last year? Disappeared. Then they found the two naked body dumped in the longkang, bruised all over. That's exactly why we should not make him angry. It's his business, whatever he wants to do in his house. Hurry up. You're still here? You have to see this. I found her, your great-grandmother. What are you talking about? You're right. She wasn't in one of the columns. She's not one of the girls. Yeah, I know I was right. So can you go now? But I was right too. She was part of the brothel. What is that, a bird? A phoenix. Her name? Feng Lan? A phoenix. It's her insignia. Don't you get it? She wasn't just one of the girls at the House of Phoenix. She was their head. This was her house. Fuyan. 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 Her brothel. She was their madame. Madame that the House of Phoenix ever knew. Eat. Get ready. We have a full house tonight.
I didn't pay five times the usual rate for a bar. I promise. You dare hit me? You just arrived from Hong Kong. So let me explain to you. This is not how you treat a lady in the house. This place is in my uncle's territory. I will do what I like. You're low says nephew. <laughs> Ready to apologize, old hag? Lick my feet. I might forgive you. I just wanted to know where to send your Xiu Heng Tai to after I chop it off. You don't know who you're dealing with. Neither do you. Be trouble. Let it come. <sighs> no, the design isn't quite right yet. I know it's what I asked for, but it looks tacky. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay, but I don't get it. Wait, what's the rush? The wedding is months away. Oh, sh Sit. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah, let me check tonight, okay? Let me check and uh, I'll send you the photos tonight. Okay. What? No, why do I have to be there? No, you already have my measurements. Ah, uh, okay, fine. Just make the appointment. I'll book my flight. Bye, Michelle. You're leaving? Tomorrow. My wedding planner wants me back for fitting or else the dress won't be ready by March. You need six months to make a dress? Well, you obviously know nothing about fashion. Who would have thought that finding a dress is harder than selling a $20 million company? Well, when are you coming back? Mm. I'm sorry, I don't think I will. My real estate agent is pretty confident that they can handle the sale of the house without me. But what about your great-grandmother and everything we've discovered? What? That she's a prostitute? Oh, no, wait, worse, that she's the head of a whorehouse? You expect me to be, what, overjoyed that I'm related to some cheap whore? Does she look like a cheap whore to you? Where'd you find this? You have to stop thinking about this place as a dirty CD brothel. It was opulent, refined. Its clients were the most rich and powerful people in the city. Politicians, police chiefs, triad lords. Your great-grandmother was... Rich? Yes. Amongst other things, she was charging maybe three or even ten times the amount that a brothel would. And 
where do you think she hid all those riches? Not in a bank. Businesses like this, they didn't trust banks. You think she hid it here? Why not? Even if it wasn't in cash, she had gold, jewellery. She clearly liked nice things. Look at that Chongsa. Yeah, it's incredible. I've been looking at dresses for weeks. The most exclusive designs by the most expensive designers. I never thought that I could admire anything of hers. You have good taste. Her taste. Look, give me a week. You can't search properly with that foot. So let me. And if she has something in this house, I'll find it. Fine. Their ridiculous price, and they still refuse to serve me. You're hot headed by your mother, stirring up shit for me to clean since you arrived. One more fight, and you can swim back to her. You let them get away with this? Now! Wonko! Isn't one of your filthy hall houses. They have high up friends and pay for our productions. Chong Yuk Kai Dui. Lam Nam Sai Lam. Lan! Really. Let me have a look. You don't have to stay, you know. You can go back to the hotel and relax. So you can leave with the first valuable thing you find? Who's to say I won't anyway? It's not like you can run very far. I shouldn't have said that. Sorry. It's okay. I get it. You don't know me and you're not gonna leave me in your $17 million house. <sighs> Relax. The more you tense, the more the muscles will stiffen. if you're feeling better. Oh, uh, yeah, a lot better, thanks. You're quite good at this. Ever thought of being a masseuse? Is that a promotion for being a historian? <sighs> Do you get my photo? Can a tailor make something like that? Uh, yeah, it's a black and white photo. What do you mean? They didn't have color photography back then. Why? Because they didn't have that kind of technology. Consider it. I know. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, just check with the tailor. Yeah. See if he can make something like that. Just ask him to use his imagination. I'm sure he can come up with a few color ideas. How did you get in here? Relax. I came to apologize. I even brought something to make it up to all of you. Forgive me? That was my favorite chongsam that you tore. I will introduce you to my uncle's tailor. He'll make you ten more, just as beautiful. the iron as if she's the only one who has coats to straighten. You know she has more to do than us, right? She's very popular with the clients. It won't last. She's getting old, nearly 10 years older than me. All right, it's time to give someone else a turn. Ah! Ah, so fun, so fun, so fun. She's still breathing! Call your dad! Your dad! Your dad! So fun! So fun! Siulan, 
get hot water to clean her wounds. Mukwa, you take over her clan soon, Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Muikwai can take her clients, but it will still cost us weeks before she recovers. Mm. Burns and bruises all over her body, even below between her legs. Poor girl, she'll have scars, though luckily not on her face. He will pay. He's Lose's nephew. Lose doesn't have to know. Keep your eyes closed. Yeah, my eyes are closed, idiot. What did you find? Is it jewelry? It's not, but sweet <sighs> here. Open your eyes. So what do you think? Really go with your shoes, though. Ha, ha. What about this one? <laughs> the work is all really intricate. It's all made by hand, and the chest kept the silk really well preserved. Any of these could easily hang in the museum. And how much would the museum pay for something like this? Can you take a joke? Oh, and I saved the best for last. Hurting her. His, his name, Atoll. What is it? Do you think he was the one who attacked her? It was an Ayat, right? You can go now. Should I call it there? I said go. Speak of it. 
Did you buy meat for dinner tomorrow? I won't hurt you. There are dangerous dogs in this forest. Let me keep you safe. <laughs> Miss! You left your picnic. We can share it. Mm. Don't be shy. You like to play? Do I get a prize if I find you? Maybe a kiss? Or maybe... <coughs> Something? As soon as the dogs left when you came, I told the coroner that this was an animal attack. No constable. You won't. Sir? His fingernails are clean. There was no signs of struggle. If he were attacked by dogs, he did not put up a fight. Foam in the mouth, tongue purple, Skin on his hand discolored. Constable, he was already dead when the dogs found him. You'll tell the coroner this was a murder. Yes, sir.
Oui. Tout est mon Dieu. Ça y est. I found the perfect design. Yeah, I'll courier it to you tomorrow, okay? Yeah. It's made for you. I mean, you're definitely related to her. She inherited a perfect figure. I can't seem to. Can you help me with this? You should definitely wear that for the wedding. It's it's beautiful. Chilling, I need to. I don't to... know if Harry would appreciate something so traditional, though. He's kind of more of the modern type. I think he loves it. Harry. Hello, darling. I get the chance to prove that I'm better than Sofan. It starts raining cats and dogs and no one comes. Shut up, though. Enjoy the peace and quiet while it lasts. You'll be back tomorrow, don't you worry. And twice as horny. I don't understand. What makes Sofan so popular anyway? I'm just as pretty and just as good with the clients and I have the same holes as she does. <laughs> what does she have that I don't? She doesn't go around shouting about her hoes for one thing. <laughs> so, tell me, why is she Fuyan's favorite? Does Fuyan owe her? Oh, come on, you know her secrets. Yes, I keep them. I don't blab about them. Keep your nose out of Fuyan's business. Unless you want to go back to the flea bitten trader we got you from. <laughs> Here they come. Gentlemen, welcome to the House of Phoenix. Fong Wong Kong. Officers, what a pleasant surprise. 
We're here for business, not pleasure. I would hope you do not serve officers in uniform at your establishment. We are law-abiding citizens here. Mr. Chief Inspector Mack, I've taken over the Chinatown Division. I would like to see your mistress. Unfortunately, she's busy at the moment. I will get her to call you. Inspector! What a pleasure. Officers, what a pleasant surprise. I would like to see your mistress. Unfortunately, she's busy at the moment. Inspector! Oh. What a pleasure. We found him in the patch of jungle behind the Quan Yin Temple. What was left of it? The wild dogs found him first. That's Tim Wong Wei's territory. I heard he had a fight with the kings last week. I heard that too. But I yet was poisoned. I may be new here, but I know the local gangs prefer their fists. They see poison as weak, womanly. I didn't know wild dogs use poison. The newspapers are going to have a field day. The dogs left a hand. It was discolored. You are new to the city, Inspector. Or you would know that we are in Samabui's territory. Lo says men protect us. Why would we attack his nephew? I was told Aya was throwing his weight around. Rumor has it, he roughed up one of your girls. Mr. Yard was the perfect gentleman. Gentleman? From what I've heard, that must have been a new experience for him. There are many in Chinatown who would kill over a stray insult. But in our business, Inspector, we can't afford to be so reckless. You may be right. Seems like I will have no shortage of suspects. I hope we've been helpful. When I told Seiya of his nephew's death, he reminded me of another attack on one of his men years ago. He was found by the river, in pieces. That was in the paper for months. That's Losa's man. The triads take care of their own. Whoever's involved will pay dearly. More so if the police are not the first to find them. Then I most certainly hope that you'll find them, Inspector Mark. Good night. Fuya. I'm tired. Good night.
When I told Seiya of his nephew's death, he reminded me of another attack on one of his men years ago. He was found by the river in pieces. Introduce you. Okay. I mean, we should probably go check it out. No, it's it's nothing. Really. Sure. Yeah, it's a small thing. Harry, uh, this is Guo Wen. He's the historian who's been helping me value the contents of this place. Hi. Harry. I'd say nice to meet you, but I'm a little upset. My fiance dumped me in Hong Kong to go gallivanting with a <laughs> handsome historian. Oh, uh, Jin has been really professional, and uh, so have I. Please ignore yes. him. He thinks he's funny. Oh, my little ice cream. How oh, I've missed you. <laughs> we found it in the house. It's nice, no? It's a little plain. I think you need something to match this. Mm, babe, thank you. Come on, try it on. Wow. Looks good. Um, why don't you two uh, talk for a bit, and I'll go change. Yeah? Okay. Okay. So, historian, huh? Does it pay well? It's not why you do it. It's not why you do it. Come on, don't you guys dig up antiques from dumps like this and sell them for millions? Mm -hmm. You're thinking about an auction house, and... I'm just here to help Chilean catalog anything of historical value that a museum might find interesting. And do museums pay well for such artifacts? I'm not a salesman. Owners usually donate them. Donate them? I thought she said you were valuing these things for sale. Well, actually... Harry? Are you okay? What's wrong? Yeah, I'm just really hungry. Take me out to lunch? Yeah. Yeah, go on. You can work here alone, right? I thought you didn't trust me in the house on my own. Eh, uh, he's harmless. I mean, he said he's not in it for the money, right? Uh, what, what's your name again? Go Wu. Go Wu. Listen, I gotta show you this place. It is fantastic. Okay? You're gonna love it. Come on, you okay? Yeah. Hey, are you free to meet? You don't have one use. You have one use. Since I took time. And his killer still walks free. And the Guai Gong Guai Po. The new inspector is investigating. James is bringing him here today. No one young the Guai Long. We fed him so much money. And then he got himself off the case. He better let us know who this new fella is and what he knows about. Mm -hmm. 
I'm in. Inspector Mark. 歡迎歡迎，請坐。Where is Inspector James? C.I. Russell has been reassigned. I'll be taking over all his cases. Ah, just the case I was hoping to speak to you about. The victim was your son, correct? I am sorry. Sorry? You're sorry? Won't bring him justice. Justice? I've been told your idea of justice is flexible. Tell me, Seiye, how did you get these police photographs? They're evidence, not to be shared with civilians. Was C.I. Russell aware you had them? Or did he give them to you? Can I ask you something, Inspector Mark? My man found this last week, just lying in the street. As a police officer, I'm sure you know what to do with lost money, right? Your integrity is heartwarming, say ye. But it is best to report at the station. Keep it above board. C.I. Russell ran into some trouble with certain unclaimed money. I would not want either of us to be accused of bribery. That will not happen, Inspector Mark. I know how honorable you police are. Now, it's my turn to ask you something. Since you have our crime photographs, perhaps you know who may have removed this unusual ring? What does this have to do with Ayat? The discoloration of Ayat's skin and death was similar to that of Atoll's. See? Poison. Again. But Atoll died 11 years ago. Perhaps this is a chance for the justice you say you deserve. I would do everything in my power to solve Atoll's murder. For a start, I'll need the evidence. This ring was found beside Atto's body. It is our key evidence. If we find it, you will be the first person I call Inspector Mark. I'll be expecting you at the station to report that money, say yeah. Good day. Follow him. If he's as good as what they say, he will find the killer. Then we will show him real justice. Not some Guaylo judge in a week. And from Wong Gok, that woman loves a fight. But she was quiet as a mouse after Ayat beat her girl. Find out what she's hiding.
Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I don't understand why you don't just pay somebody to do it this house. And this Guo Ming guy, he doesn't check out. He's a hack. He's just wasting your time. Guo Wen has actually been pretty helpful since I hurt my leg. And plus, he's not charging me anything. He's not charging you anything because he has a hidden agenda. Get rid of him. Hire a proper valuer. Unless, I don't know, you have a hidden agenda yourself. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe you're just hung up on your past. Okay, remember that time you got into a fight with your mom because she wouldn't answer your questions and then she passed away? This has nothing to do with that. Look, you didn't have to come here. Okay, even the real estate agent said so. I think that you came here because you are looking for something, even if you don't know what it is. I came here because I needed a break. <laughs> Come on, you don't think I know you? You haven't had a break since the day I met you. So what's so special about this place that you wanted to bring me? Harry. Oh, I didn't pick it. She did. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good. This is my fiance, Chi Ling. Hi, Hi, I'm Emily. Please come, sit. So, are you two ready to sell? You like what you see, Hansa? <laughs> Sir. Thank you for agreeing to see me. Did I have a choice? I've been told you're one of the most experienced girls around here. You've been around longer than most. I need your expert advice. You mean I'm honored for you who haven't died of syphilis? Anyway, if this is about yet, you're wasting your breath. I don't know anything. We know he's visited your brothel. Yes, but he likes younger flesh. Men like that can't appreciate a sophisticated woman like What about this? Never seen it before. What is it? It was found near a body, chopped up by the river. <laughs> I thought I yet was killed by dogs. This is for an older case. Sorry, I can't help you. You know what this is about. You were a working girl back then. When Atoll was found, his skin mottled from poison, his eyes gouged out. How can you feel safe, knowing the one who did it is still out there? Then you didn't know Atoll. Yes, this city would never be safe for girls like me. But it is better off without him. from one got feel the same? You should be looking for the jeweler who made this. No working girl wanna mess with a triad. Well, the triads disagree. Some Hubui tells me Feng Lan fiercely defends her girls. And I yet attacked one. And did you investigate him already? <laughs> if you're looking for a murderer inspector, go back to your boss. Lothar has blood on his hands. They all do. And it's our blood. You police don't ask questions when a girl like me turns up there. Do you?
most of it is done. You just need to add photos and descriptions of the artifacts to the appendix. Then we can apply it to the Historical Society and make the House of Phoenix a heritage building. Will they contact the property owner? Yes, they'll need to verify the claims. If all goes well, the owner will only be able to sell if the buyer adheres to the strict guidelines for heritage sites, which will keep the greedy developers away. Yeah, that's, um, that's great. I think we have a good chance. This house is full of valuable insights into the lives of women and how they've been largely forgotten by history. Just leave this with me, Gerald. Thanks a lot. Good luck. That house is a gem. It would be a shame if it's just sold off to the highest bidder. All the best. Thanks. You know where to find me, Hansel? <laughs> sir, get me a list of jewelers that serve as a brothels. Yes, sir. I'll get you some opium. It'll calm your sleep. Just a little. I'd rather have the nightmares. Oh. Ayat is dead. Oh. Wild dogs. He was drunk. And he stumbled into the forest. He can't hurt you now. There'll be another. There always is. Just when you think you're safe, that no one has a reason to hurt you. You are safe. You can't promise that. Everyone knows I was here. If you attack me, they will suspect. Me? I have an alibi. I was here the evening he was killed. Yo! Fuyan. Fuyan. Is my bird's nest ready? I'll go prepare now. Thank you. So, please bring it up to my room and it's done. Hi, Fuyan. I'm having a headache. I do not want to be I hope make me bird's nest and then I retire to my room. All the Is girls it? saw it. It doesn't matter. This will dredge up the past. Seiya will suspect and you know he owns all the police. Yes. That old British policeman was in his pockets. But he was stupid. This, this mark, he is sharper. But any man can be outsmarted. Look, we'll just keep our heads low and it will pass. You think you're invincible? Have you ever thought about what will happen to us when your luck runs out? Mm -hmm. Alright, so, so. Yeah, okay. Hey. Why didn't you tell me we were meeting a real estate agent? Because you said you were busy. I figured I'd take care of it for you. You know, I thought you'd be happy. You're rushing me. And it's my house. Which you are looking to sell. I don't understand why you're getting so upset. You're right. I'm sorry. I just don't like surprises. 
I want to get back to our life. Our wedding year, which I think will be amazing because she said she can get 18 million for the place. And we can have a wedding and rival those crazy rich Asians, yeah? You float <laughs> down the altar? Hmm? Okay. Let's celebrate. You go back to the hotel first. I just need to pick something up from the house, okay? All right, I'll come with you. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll see you later, okay? Thank you for agreeing to meet me here. The police make my usual clients nervous. No offense. None taken. Do you know what it is? Oh, well, yes. We don't get many orders for these. There aren't many places or girls that know how to use them. Go on. Well, um, <clears throat> they are instruments of pleasure, used in the art of love. Um, this part here goes over a man's, you know. Thank you. You're the first person who hasn't pretended to not know what it is. No way, then. <laughs> Must be the adventurous time, eh, Inspector? <coughs> 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 um, may I? Mm. Yes, just as I thought. The snake design, the choice of stones. This was made for an establishment known as the Kioni Palace. I don't know it. Where is it? Closed years ago. Her madam ordered it specially in the year uh, 1928, I think. 1928. How can you be so sure? It was the year of the gruesome murder. You know, the one with the dismembered body. My wife and I were celebrating our 25th anniversary when we saw all the people at the river and the police bringing the body back. Soon after the peony closed, her mistress returned to China, leaving behind her account unpaid. I must add. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Even most helpful. If you have further questions, you should speak to Madame Feng Lan from the House of Phoenix. Her most experienced girl is very adept at issues. Ah, I've heard, of course. Thank you. I will certainly pay them a visit. She'll be mad, but she's got a fiancé. She'll fly back to Hong Kong, live a rich life. It'll be fine. I can't seem to... Can you help me with this? <sighs> I can't do this. You're just gonna hate me. You're looking for a chilling? Yes. Is she here? Um, no, she's not. But... I brought the listing paperwork for the sale. The sale? Sorry, I can't stay. Could you just ask her to sign this for me? And then we can start advertising. Thanks.
Do you think any of your girls saw me come in? They are all in their rooms. So I don't know why I took the risk. You reek of trouble. Don't be a shrew. I came to warn you. The new police inspector, Mark, is sniffing around about a snake ring to do with Atul's death. And what has that got to do with me? How many girls do you know can use one of those? It won't be long before he comes to question you. And even if he doesn't come, no say well. He doesn't care who pays the price for Ayat and Atul. As long as it involves plenty of blood. You better get your story straight. You seem to know a great deal about what Lo Se is thinking. Did he send you? I was a fool. Trying to help. Wait. I haven't seen you in years. Why are you helping me now? I had a daughter. And Mao Tan Kong before you came. Where is she now? I lived for years. But maybe it's better not to know. The last time I saw her, she was just starting to walk. He took her. I don't. You know what he was. To any child or woman cursed enough to cross his path. He like his girls broke. I still pray that she's dead. So maybe she didn't suffer. His dad was just this. I don't care if you're involved or not. Just be ready when they come for you. What do we do now? We move first. Guo Wen? Are you there? Go on. Hello. Oh God, you scared me. Did you get my messages? I tried calling. I'm done. I was going to tell you in person. You keep trying to pretend that you don't care about your great-grandmother. That you're disgusted by her, that you're nothing alike. But at least she was honest about selling herself for money. What's your excuse? You have until tomorrow. 
Then the movers are coming to clear this all away. You know, I've been killing myself trying to figure a way out how to tell you this because I know it's going to kill you. What is that? Feng Lan didn't start a family after she left the House of Phoenix. Whoever told you that lied. I did the math all the way back three generations. Even if she was a bit older or younger than the average age, the child would have been born in the... the brothel? Yes. Your grandmother. Inspector Mark, did you want something? No. Fu Yan thought you might need a rest after all that walking. Your Fu Yan is very kind. Tell her I'll visit her soon. Good night. a debt slave. Silly goose, there's no competition here. I mean, just look at her. She's practically a ghoulie. Her skin is so dry. Ah! Ah, so clumsy! You, where's my water? And my breakfast? What's going on? Why has Fuyan wasted money out on this trash? She's not even a good servant. Fuyan! Fuyan! Stop the caterwauling. She's not here. <sighs> Yukta, has Fuyan got a secret lover? Is so that why she's never around in the morning? I heard you demanding breakfast. Why don't you take a skinny ass down the kitchen if you're that hungry? If Fuyan is printing so much money that she can afford to take in such a useless orphan, then she can afford to give me some time off. Don't you think? You better buck up, girl. Good morning, Inspector. Tea? I hope I'm not interrupting anything, ma'am. Do you have more questions for me? According to our investigations, you were at the brothel the evening in which Ayat was killed. Several witnesses confirmed this. So it would seem you have an alibi. I'm here to let you know that you're in the clear, for now. Because no one actually saw you in your room the whole night. No one saw me outside either. What are you hiding? Who is the real Feng Lan? The Madam of House Phoenix? 
or a lady who enjoys reading English books by the river. She was once a country girl, sold to work in a rich man's home, so that her family could replace the buffalo she killed. The eldest son of the master took a shine to her and seduced her. After he took her virtue, he abandoned her, leaving her a shamed woman. She thought that perhaps if she began anew elsewhere, that she could find someone else to love her. But no man could accept her past. So she killed a man who caused her all this misery. So rare to meet a well-read policeman. So rare to find a madam who reads, especially one who knows Thomas Hardy. Really, Inspector, did you have to spoil the ending for me? Chilling. Hi. Where's Harry? Um, back at the hotel, I guess. Why? I heard you applied for the heritage status for the shop house. Not sure if Harry told you, but I don't do rentals. Heritage status? I don't know anything about that. One of my contacts told me that there has been an application made. How dare you go behind my back? Who the hell do you think you are? I'm sorry for going to your great grandma's room. It's just that... I got really excited because she's the madame of the house. So she's the only one with an entire room to herself. I mean, not that she had to entertain clients, but that wasn't a job. That's not what you're angry about. Does heritage application ring a bell? I was going to talk about that with you. After you stopped me from selling this place? I'm sorry, but the application is... Just get out! Chi Ling. Out! Now! Before I go, I think you should know that dress is pretty special. Might be worth something.
I want to buy Virgin. Madam Lam, Feng Wang Kok offers certain services for the discerning gentleman, but we neither have virgins nor do we sell girls. I'm sure Master Lam is aware of that. Yes, yes. I know he is one of your customers. Unless he is dissatisfied with our services. Is that why he's asking you to buy His a... physician has indicated that he needs more young energy. And a young virgin will do the trick. I see. I've already contacted all the brokers. The war has disrupted all the ships between China and here. And the only ones who managed to bring in girls last month were you and Lo Si. My girls are not for sale. $1,000. I don't even need her to be pretty. Just unspoiled. That urchin who served me tea earlier? How much do you pay to get her? $400? I'm paying you double that amount and more. Good day, Madam Lam. Ayoko will see you out. So far, he's refused money from all gangs. He even told Lo Se to report the bright money as stolen property. I'm not sure if he's just naive or holding on for bigger bribes. <laughs> Maybe he just wants to be a good policeman. There you are. Come. Fuyang. It's my turn to wear the ivory hat pin. Stop treating it like it's your lucky charm. Huh. What if it is? These girls, they'll be the death of me. Fuyang! Fuyang! Come here. Sit. Have you ever learned to read and write? We begin with A, B, C. Before I go, I think you should know that dress is pretty special. Oh. 
Your madame has an entire dossier dedicated to her. Most of the work was done by the first Chinese inspector to oversee this area, Mark Hongzhi. Wow. This paints the madame of the house of Phoenix in a totally different light. That shop lot is a story that is dying to be told, Guo Wen. Yeah, about that jail there. I need you to withdraw the heritage application. Come in. Sir, the book you wanted. Thank you. Weren't you when I was speaking with your mistress? You are very pretty, so far. A girl like you shouldn't be a servant. Come in. Inspector Russell, thank you for coming in on such short notice. Anything to be of assistance, Mac? Madam Phoenix, what do you know about her? She has nice girls. Better than the ones on Malay Street. I hear you're a, a bit of a Puritan. I guess you're just a man like the rest of us. And it seems a man with expensive tastes. You frequented her establishment? She'd invite me over. And when the madam of the House of Phoenix invites you over, you do not say no. I've noticed we don't have much background on her. She doesn't appear to have any formal papers either. She runs the most successful brothel in town and somehow still manages to charge three times as much. She doesn't do anybody any harm. She runs a nice establishment. And I'm sure the person that gave her money to start the brothel is not going to be asking too many questions. Really. <laughs> if the girls are doing a good job. If Lose provides her with protection, why have the police there too? She throws anybody out who doesn't play by her rules. Doesn't matter if it's a businessman, a policeman, or a gangster. And you can't do that unless you play all the sides. That's why she wasn't afraid to throw out Ayet. Inspector, my job then was to keep peace between the gangs, not to keep tabs on the madams of this town. No, if there's nothing else. Get your men to send me the files of all the missing women from 1925 to 1932. Would that be all I can help you with? For now. Thank you. Yupa! You're damn hungry! I was up first. About you. you guys don't have to do this. What do you mean she's gone? I swear I'm gonna beat her till she's blue and black all over when I find her. This morning when I woke up, nothing was done. Did someone have taken her? 
No one would dare to do that to Fong Wong Kok. Xiu Lan! Zhao Sang has booked you for 3 p.m. Go get ready. The rest of you don't have any clients until after dinner. If you're hungry, there's food in the kitchen, go help yourself. Otherwise, I suggest you go back to bed so you don't look like hungry ghosts when your clients arrive. Yes, Fu Yan. Yes, Fu Yan. Yes, Fu Yan. Xiu San Ma. Go to Lam Mansion, the back door. Tell me what you find. Hi, Fu Yan. Peace offering. I withdrew the application. Her name was Lang. My great grandmother. I was named after her. Mom gave me her copy of Tess when I was 12 and insisted I read it. I never liked the story. I always thought it was depressing. Austin girl? Jackie Collins. Explains Harry. You know, it was almost unheard of for a woman to be educated back then, much less be able to read or write. She must have been from an educated family or a rich one. Which makes it completely incomprehensible why she ended up running a brothel. I mean, a woman like her, she could have been someone's wife. This book? Must have been special to her for a reason. And look, I shouldn't have done anything without asking you first. I guess I got ahead of myself and I'm sorry. Well, at least you're passionate about something. Sometimes I wish I had something I was crazy enough to throw everything away for. Money? I suppose. You know, finding this book with her name on it, I feel connected to her somehow. Maybe I'm just upset after my fight with Harry. But he loves you. Sometimes it feels like he loves the idea of me. You know, successful, pretty wife, someone to aid in his ambition. You're not that pretty. Hey. Oh, I wanted to tell you this morning that I found out which is your great grandmother's room. Phoenix. Excellent timing. I need your help. One of my girls has been kidnapped. Nothing but the best for Master Lam's new wife, yes. I have some Shandong Siu. Just stand the silk or do. What is the meaning of this? Inspector, this is my servant girl. I have no idea what you're talking about. Inspector, I found this girl loitering about my backyard. Come. No. Inspector, this girl does not want to go back to a brothel. 
Are you really going to force her? Did you run away from the House of Phoenix? Or were you kidnapped? That is outrageous. Speak, girl. Sufa, tell the inspector how you were treated at House of Phoenix. I had to work all day and take care of those demanding women. I was tired all the time and I never had enough food to eat. So I came here. No one goes hungry at Fong Wang Gong. Did Madame Lam teach you to say all this? Are you accusing me of lying? <laughs> to think I was prepared to pay you good money for her? A thousand! Inspector, I saved this girl. Sufa, tell the inspector. I want to be Master Lam's wife. I will have nice clothes to wear, good food to eat, and I don't need to serve those harlots day and night. Why must I have such a hard life there? And here, I can have a good life and sleep all day if I want to. Inspector, I think it's very clear that this girl would like to stay here. Do you know how old Master Lam is? Twenty. Madame Lam told me. You think you're going to marry young Master Lam? You are destined for all Master Lam. You are going to be his third wife. And he's 68. I'd like to speak to her, in private. Who do you think you are? Just a few minutes. beautiful clothes, the big house, and the servants, they're all very tempting. But trust me, I can give you a better life than you being a... <sighs> You're not going to be a Muay Thai forever. I am going to teach you how to read and write, and then send you off to be a companion girl to a rich family. You'll have a chance at... You should take the money from Madame Lam. You're wasting your time with me. I know I'm for the old man. I've heard you two talking. Don't worry. I know how to lie down and open my legs. What? You're not a virgin. Oh, I was a virgin many times since I was seven. I'll make sure there's blood. So she thinks she's got her virgin. Better a wife than a whore. No, I want to stay! Satisfied now? What are you people doing here? You 
charge three times what other brothels charge. So money is clearly important to you. Yet, you turned down a pricely sum for Madame Lamb for that girl. Why? Thank you, Inspector, for your help. I need to get ready for business now. What does she say to you in that room? It doesn't matter. she said upset you. Singapore in the 1920s. It was a harder time than most, but a more elegant one too. Nothing epitomized these two qualities better than Fong Lan and her House of Phoenix. You may look on her with disgust, but a good madam is a woman of many skills, good judgment of character, excellent physical stamina, the grace to charm good clients and girls, and the daring to challenge bad ones. She teaches the girls how to serve herbs that awaken lust, how to stop unwanted pregnancy, how to check a client for disease without offending them. It's a delicate dance. Trip and you're ruined. Mr. Y is waiting for you in the hall.
Mr. Y. <laughs> Miss you so much. I know you do. <laughs> Come. No one looks after her. If something goes wrong, she cannot call the police. She keeps order on her own. She must make them love her and fear her. Don't ever come back again. She takes care of them because healthy girls last longer. The bath is ready. For many of her girls, she will be the only mother they have known. The only role model with any power. But perhaps also because they are the only children she has. Fong Lan was all of this and more. And my father loved her. And your father told you all that? We all knew. He married my mother. But he loved Fong Lan. He even brought me here once when I was a young boy. When I heard it was up for sale, I thought it's better for me to take a last look for Pa. If I knew you were so interested, I would have given them all to you. Given what? My father's journal. He wrote about this place and her. But it's too late. I've given them all away. Who did you give it to? Morning. Where's Yulan? Has she eaten? She hasn't come down. Says she's tired. Call her. I won't have her fainting during work. I'm here, I'm here. Ugh, hard again. God, the food is so complicated. Thank you. Next time you are late, you can wash the dishes. George says in England they have toast and eggs every morning with orange juice and tea. He can cook for us the next time there. Where's George? The handsome one with the chiseled face. Always asking for siu lan. Here, have some century egg. Waste of time. We're never going to find that journal or that dodgy karakuni that he sold him to. And even if he did, I mean, he's probably going to cheat us. He's here and don't worry, he won't. How do you know? Because I know him and dodgy karangunis, they're my specialty. Let's go. Hey, Tony. Hey, boy. Good to see you again. How's your beer? My auntie, she angry with me. I brought home this old ox cut from Granji. Very nice, cannot find any more. She said, too big, house no space. <laughs> Women. You must be the lucky one, huh? This boy very picky. I want to set him up with my daughter. He says no. <laughs> no, I, I'm, we're not. Tony, your daughter's already married to a fourth husband. <laughs> See, very picky, right? <laughs> oh, by the way, have you seen Zam? Zam, over there. <laughs> Hey, what's that? Zam Zam, how's your cough? 
<coughs> mm. uh, I think it's getting better. Have you seen <coughs> Dr. Hyrule? Uh, no time lah. I told you, he's a good man, he won't charge you. <coughs> you come just to nag at me? <coughs> You're worse than my wife. Actually, I'm here looking for some old books that you found in the big house in Ziglap last week. <coughs> the man said he gave it to a Malay guy with a bad cough. <coughs> Huh. There were paper dropping everywhere, so I threw them. Where? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How many months are you? Two, I think. I haven't had my bleeding for two months. Why wait so long? Where is the lambskin that you use with your clients? There must be a tear. I'll have to get you a new one. George is the father. You have so many clients a week. How do you know it's him? He doesn't like the skin. He says it makes him itchy. You're more stupid than I thought. You've put all of us at risk. He's a sailor, you think he only screws you? Who knows what else he's carrying? You're going to need a full check. I'll go to the sinsa for the right herbs. It should still work. But you'll be off work for at least a week. It will cost us. Take it out of her wages. No! I'm not getting rid of the baby. Not until you speak to him. If you're actually doing that. Oh. Relax. It's mostly cardboard. And it's quite fun actually. You only live once, you know? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they weren't talking about jumping in a dumpster. Oh. How do you know those guys anyway? The Garanganese? I cut the hair. You what? Yeah. My mom was a hairdresser and she taught me how to cut my hair when I was young because I hated it whenever someone touched it. So when I met the guys at the market, I thought, why not cut their hair for free? They don't earn much money, you know, so... I guess it's one less thing for them to worry about. Well, you're not doing a very good job. They still look scruffy. Why are you bothering with that? You know, they probably moved it away already before. It's been weeks since I met the Madame of the House of Phoenix. I've heard about her, observed her, spoken to her. The more I learn about her, the more curious I become. But nothing surprises me more than... Surprises me more than what? But nothing surprises me more than the incident involving the girl they called Siu Come Lan. On. Come on! I have to... <laughs> You can get a drink in the kitchen. Thank you. So, what did he say? I'm going to go away with him. He wants to keep the baby. <laughs> Thank you. Shulan, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> It's my only chance, please. I beg you, I'll do anything. You may go. If he pays the price.
actually. Can I have two sugars? Never mind. One is fine. She has at least two years of work left in her. That's $2,500. Plus my investment, clothing, training, food. I'll make it a clean $3,000. $3,000? She said you're not feeling, bitch. You told her you'd bring her to England. Is that true? I said it, didn't I? And your family will welcome her with open arms? Or will she end up in the streets once you're tired of her? An oriental curiosity for the cheap whorehouses? No. No, I love her. One thousand, and I'll let her go. One thousand? But you said... Do you want me to change my mind? One thousand dollars, and her happiness. A good life, a family. And keep your promises to her. few opportunities to the girls who feed these brothels. Too many turn up dead, their bodies bearing signs of abuse. Those responsible walk free, known to all but punished by none. The high men of this city hide dark impulses. The amount he knows about brothels and the society must be someone important. We have to sort all these out first before we can figure it out. It's gonna take hours in. Quite surprised you're interested. It happened so long ago. It doesn't even seem real. And then you find something like this and then you realize these are real people too. It's just so... Magical? I know. That's why I live history. Anyway, I just want to know what Siu Lan taught him about my great-grandmother. Oh. We better get started. Oh, I look, you shower. You smell like a rubbish dump. Oh, go. Oh. I can't put a spare. Who can blame Su Lan for trying to escape? Or for what happened next? I want to see if it feels different when not paying. Wait. What did Fuyan say? It's more than I thought. How much? $5,000. Say that poor. You know I'd pay 10 times that for you. It'll take me some time to raise. Honestly. I don't know where to start. The goldsmith at Southbridge will give you money for this. Even with my savings? It won't be enough. It's enough for us to run away. You, me, and our baby. You play along for a few days while I get ready. Then I'll meet you at dawn on Monday at the jetty. I'll take a small boat across the strait.
な。Surely it is in the public's interest to know if a man might have a criminal history. But I don't know why it's in your best interest. He visits us often. I want to be sure he's not a dangerous man. Come on, madam. We both know that you know how to handle dangerous men. His name. Is George Brady a sailor? He arrived on a trade ship, I believe, was called Maria. I'll look into him, but it would be easier if I knew why I was looking. Where is the fun in that, Inspector? Sulana, I need you to take Mr. Chow tonight. Would lay double book. She did in double book. Mr. Claus requested me, but I'm not ready. Sorry, I'm busy. Busy with what? Your list is empty. As it should be. When George is paying an arm and a leg for me to leave, I don't have to play the whore anymore. Like you poor things. I wouldn't count your chicken so soon. He hasn't paid yet. You're just jealous. Well, you wait. I'll come back a fancy English lady, and on that day, I cannot wait to see the look on Fu Yan's face. Contact her clients. She will work until her debts are paid. Understood? I must understand who Feng Lan is. How she thinks, why she acts. What? The stories about her contradict themselves. It says she once slapped a girl so hard she bled, and she sold a child to a man sixty years older. And yet, at the flesh auctions, she bids way too much for girls that no one else wants. I'm making a hopeless into the most desirable women in the city. She wasn't dirty. She was strong and powerful, smart and beautiful. He saw past what other people saw about her. What I saw. Well, to be fair to you, you've never met her in person. Yeah, but she must have been something. After he met her. He couldn't think about anyone else. That's what love is, right? I'm sure you feel that way about Harry. That was a good take from last week. We'll need to look for Siulan's replacement soon. I don't want to lose more money than we have to. That ungrateful girl. After all that you've done for her. And now you're letting her go for nothing. One thousand dollars is not nothing. She owes you more than money. You bought her skinny ass from the rich Taoke. I remember. Everyone knew he killed his first wife. 
and the second made her life a living hell. Xiu Lan looked like a drought rat when she arrived. She can only smirk and whine now, all thanks to you. She's paid her dues and made her choice. Now she has to live with it. <laughs> Oi! Did you wear my chong sum again without asking me? It's burnt here, ruined. You probably left the iron on it. Dreaming about George? Say <laughs> tell for. How dare you! You said you you did. You Stop fighting, girl. Stop fighting. Stop. Oh, ruin your clothes and it come out of your wages. Make her pay. This is Mr. Gag's favourite and he comes tomorrow. It's a boyfriend to pay for it. I did touch it. But he's broke thanks to Fu Yan. It will take him months to earn enough to satisfy that greedy cow. She pretends to care for us, but she'll milk us for every cent. Watch your mouth. I can't fix this myself. I'll go to the tailor tomorrow morning. I won't be here for breakfast. Uh, I'll give some porridge for you. Don't bother. It tastes like shit. I see you've come without an umbrella. What a brave man. You don't have to worry about Mr. Brady. Other than some gambling, he's clean. Thank you. We'll be able to receive him with confidence next time. No. You've seen the last of him. I don't understand. Apparently, he struck big in a card game last week. Won enough money for him to return to England and marry his fiance. Fiance? I thought you'd be pleased. Since you seem to think that he's dangerous. When did he leave? After he got the money from Shu Lan. That despite all the terrible things she does, despite all of reason and logic, Feng Lan truly cares for these girls. It explained why she keeps coming up as I investigate these murders. That despite all the terrible things she does, despite all reason and logic, Feng Lan truly cares for these girls. It explains why she keeps coming up as I investigate these murders. Gives her the motive I've been seeking. For people will do terrible things for greed. Good riddance. But 
they will do far worse things for love. I don't know anything about Aya. I didn't kill him. He picked a fight with you before he died. Oh, your mother, dirty pig. <coughs> I would be angry too. My mother left me to die when I was a baby. She was a horror. Servant. They said she was in the room that night. He was killed. My yet was thrown out of Hong Kong. And then he was dead. I'm sure she knows something. I'm the head of police and the governor. We seek from Hong Kong often. We can't touch her until we know more. We need someone closer to her. Someone willing to talk. Thanks for the blanket last night. It's fine. You're leaving? Yeah, I actually just got to go to Tony's and cut his hair. Uh, but I'll be back later. Can I come? Didn't think you'd be interested. Why not? It's not like I have anything better to do. I can help you hold the scissors. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm completely free. Uh, let me just freshen up for a minute. Uh, hey, are you sure you didn't hit your head while you were sleeping? Oh, shut up before I change my mind. <laughs> the girl Sulan was missing. I hope she wasn't dead. Runaway girls are common in the brothel trade. If they're found alive, they're beaten. Sometimes to death as an example to other girls. The unluckiest are sold to new, often crueler owners. 
And so a runaway whore moves even further down society's ladder. She didn't tell you anything at all. Where she planned to go? She barely spoke to any of us before she left. I think they were going to leave by boat. Work as usual. We can't afford to cancel clients. Yes, yes Fu Yan. I think I know where she might be. I'll get some constables from the station. We can go together. Julian! Julian! Would we find the girl? And what would the madam at the House of Phoenix be capable of if we did? When she's ready, take her back to the house of Phoenix in the car. Did the police call? Can call the inspector. But sir, she she said. She's a what? Unclean, sir. A sinful woman. You're right. You shouldn't ride with her. Thank you, sir. You can walk back. It'll take you about two hours. Time for you to remember that you joined the police force to serve and protect, not judge. Sir, you are very noble. My contact said he booked passage on the Queen Esther on the 4th the day after you gave him your jewelry. He must have used the money for the ticket. He never planned to take me away. No, I don't believe so. She gave him all her money and jewelry. She shouldn't have been so sure. Lottie, you over all of us, huh? Please. You would have jumped twice as fast if any man would have offered you a better life. What will Fu Yan do to her? A runaway girl is bad for business. The last one to run was one of Madame Gan's. They found her trying to cross the Malaya. They starved her first. No food for a week. Then they beat her. Rubbed salt into the wounds. Then they brought her into the street and offered her to any man who would have her. What about the baby? It'll be up to Fu Yan and Xiu Lan. So much la. I don't want to look like a small boy, you know. Cut your hair for how many years already? <laughs> I think next time I try those Abing Salon, no? that dye colorful hair. Hey, what do you think, girl? Um, I think it looked good with purple hair. <laughs> I don't think those Abings will let you paint durian, Tony. <laughs> durian? Oh, I wouldn't. That is because you're not tasted my brother's one. Right, boy? <laughs> Best in Singapore. 
and JB. Hey girl, this boy takes care of me, treat me like family. Not only haircut, he brings me food, new clothes, he even brought me to go doctor once. Tony, enough. True what? My daughter visit me less than you, and her face when I ask her for help. Oh, a lot. Not many people in this world are as kind as him. But he cut hair, okay only la. <laughs> That's it. I'm shaving it all off. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You must have read those things like 20 times. You should join a historical society. I'll put it in the good word for you. As if I'd never be rid of you. So, what are you looking for in there? Why didn't Mom tell me? Why didn't I know? Maybe she felt like it wasn't her story to tell? Then whose? I asked so many questions growing up about my grandma my family, and no one told me anything. Didn't I have a right to know? Of course you did, and you still do. What happened to her? And why'd she have a child? And who's my great-grandfather? Hey! Best durian in Singapore. <laughs> Sorry, Tony, but I think we're gonna go. No, it's okay. I want to try the best durian in Singapore in <laughs> Well, something happened at 4 o'clock. Something we can use. She won't eat. I even brought her favourite jewellery. Leave her. Let her eat sadness until she's full. Come in. Sir, Inspector Russell sent the files you asked for. All the unsolved and missing persons cases with girls aged 12 to 16 from years 1925 to 1932. He sure took his time. Thank you. Sir, you don't think a girl could have killed those men? She's not a girl anymore. Do you mean Madam Feng Lan? Very good, Mossadegh. Thank you, sir. You're not completely hopeless after all. If I cannot get an answer from her presence, then I must dig up her past. Where does she come from? How did she rise so high? What was she killed for? Lay them out. Yes, sir. Siu Lan from Phu Mong Kok. How do you know? I'm from Sahawi. 
say yes and me. We heard your Huailo treated you badly, took away all your money, and made you look like a fool. These white men, they always think they are above the law. They're not the only ones. We are just trying to help. You should be grateful. Help me. Some hard way will find your Kwailo and get back your money more than you ever lost. You can start a new life. Far from here if you want. We will teach him a lesson for you. And no other woman will want him after that. I want to watch. I want him to look into my eyes. I want him to know that it was me. Your Fu Yan is hiding something. Find it and you will get your revenge. I thought you were better than this. Moping for days on end, all over a stupid boy. Is this your idea of encouragement? What is your idea? Were you expecting me to stroke your hair, hold you tight, and tell you I love you? George did all that. But look at where is he now? He's off to marry another woman. to be angry, be angry. You have every right to hate this man or hate the world. But he has taught you one thing that I have learned many years ago. And that is, no one can be trusted. No one except you. A strong woman who throws her strength away is worse than a weak woman who never had any strength to throw away. Keep the baby or don't, but don't expect someone to save you because you will always be disappointed. Fourteen, missing. Last seen crossing Temple Street. Girl, name unknown. Last seen in bed. Suspected kidnapping. Ten years old. Run away. Scar on her back. Too young. Too old.
paste out of my mouth. I shouldn't have eaten the whole piece. You know, Tony's a real bully. Says the investment banker. Max getting closer to finding out who Feng An was before House of Phoenix. Listen. I found her, a missing girl from years ago, a 15-year-old runaway. Her family only had one photo of her. The girl in the picture is 15, her face softer, but I'm sure it is her. Oh no. What? That, that's it. That's the last page. The pages were loose. There's probably still some back in the house. Yeah, th there must be. There has to be. Chilling, wait. Keep it. None of us should have a baby. Did you hear about the girl who ran into the Mayflower restaurant? All beaten up and crying. She begged them to keep us safe. And they threw her on the street. She was one of CS. Just in dirt to him. Say it, uh, celestial kings. There's no difference. Girls like us have no right to bring children into this world. Not when we can't even keep ourselves safe. Come on, we'll be late. Lights, give me some lights! to the dumpster. What? Chen, wait! No. You must have left something in the dumpster! I didn't. I checked everything thoroughly and besides, the truck would have taken everything away by now. Just, I'll just go myself! Relax. Come no, on, just please. stop it! Chilin, I need please, to relax. know! Just have a seat. Okay, Move! Hurry. Relax. Just stop. Just now. I need just to find out more! We'll find out, I promise. No, everything will be alright. We'll find out. find out. Just have a seat. Close to finding out who she really is. Keep looking, I promise. Alright, just relax. 
I need to know who I am. I need to know where I'm from. Who I'm from. I need to know. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't. King Oban's waiting for me. I get your porridge. No, I don't want porridge. Make me pork ribs. Yukte, can you ask the sensei for those special herbs? I want to make my bleeding come. Tell him to make them extra strong. Then you better eat more. You'll need your strength. What's there to look? 